This video will cover the printing of an intaglio photopolymer plate. The brand I am using is a solar plate. This is the plate I will be printing. It was exposed to a portion of this larger drawing on Duralar, which was made using a combination of Micron and Zig pens. Begin by measuring your registration grid. If you make the grid using Mylar and pencil, your marks can be erased and the Mylar used over and over again. Always be sure that the pencil side is down to avoid transferring the graphite to your paper when printing. Then, cut or tear your paper. Mark the back of the paper with an X and submerge it in a tray of water. The length of time the paper needs to soak varies, but typically ranges from about 30 minutes to an hour for cotton rag paper. Polymer plates are thin and a little difficult to hold onto while wiping. If you build a magnet board, the steel backing of the plate will adhere to it and hold the plates in place while inking and wiping. This one is made of half-inch thick medium-density fiber board from a hardware store with a roll of 60 millimeter adhesive magnetic sheeting attached. When applying the magnetic sheeting, be sure it is fully flattened and without any waves or bumps that will affect the wiping of the plates. When you are ready to print, lay down a sheet of foam book paper to protect the magnet board. Set the polymer plate on top with two sides overhanging the edge. For this print, I'm using Graphic Chemical Renaissance Black etching ink. Because you cannot use a hot plate for fear of melting the emulsion, Adding a tiny amount of Easy Wipe will help with wiping the plate. Use an ink knife to mix the ink around and homogenize it. Next, using either a square of mat board or a plastic shopper's card, card the ink onto the plate using C shapes. Having two edges of the plate overhang the corner of the magnet board helps keep the ink on the plate. Rotate the plate and do the other two sides. With the plate fully coated, scrape off any excess ink. Move the plate so all sides are on the magnet board. Wiping a photopolymer plate is a little different from a traditional metal plate because you won't be using tarlatan. This stiffened cheesecloth has the potential to scratch the surface of the emulsion. Instead, begin with phone book paper. This should not be crinkled or wadded up. Instead, hold one side of the paper and slowly drag it across the surface of the plate while applying light to medium pressure and rubbing in gentle circles with the other hand. The magnet board holds the plate in place, allowing you to use both hands for this. This will remove the bulk of the ink, but there will still be quite a bit left on the surface. Next, move to palm wiping. This is the most important part of wiping a plate. The palm of the hand is the absolute best for removing ink from the surface while still leaving it in the recessed areas of the plate. Palm wiping is what gives a print its luminosity. Don't expect all the ink to come off in one layer. You are working your way there and may need to wipe the same area a few times. Pay careful attention to the edges and keep an eye out for little blobs or areas of buildup. This should be a light dusting of the hand and you do not need to use pressure. This last step makes a difference in the brightness of the final print. With tissue paper, the same kind you may buy for wrapping gifts, use broad strokes that go beyond the edge of the plate. If the phone book paper is very inky and you risk depositing ink back onto the surface of the plate, change it out for a fresh sheet. With a cotton rag, clean the edges of the plate using a downward stroke. Often, when doing this, some ink gets brought back onto the surface and you may need to do a quick wipe with the tissue paper to tidy it up again. Check the back for ink blobs. Ink on the back of the plate can squirt out during printing and transfer to the paper, or it can create an embossment on the plate and ruin it. Pause and wash your hands. 
Next, set the pressure on the press and lay out the registration grid. Because photopolymer plates are so thin, they often need a lift of some sort to get the proper pressure. I am using a 1 16th of an inch thick plexiglass. Set the plate on the grid. Blot the paper. I find I get a more even blot on the side facing up, so I set the side I will be printing on up. Blot once. Then adjust the towel and blot once more. The paper should be damp and without any puddles of water that may get between the ink and the paper. Line the paper up with the grid. Cover with a protective sheet of newsprint and run everything through the press. Here is the finished print. Clean the photopolymer plate with baby oil. Buff the plate gently using a soft towel, taking care not to scratch it. You only need to clean the plate if you are changing colors or finished printing. Otherwise, you are free to re-ink and continue printing. Give the sides a wipe down as well. If there is enough, save the ink. If not, scrape leftovers onto some scrap paper. Clean the ink knife and the slab using baby oil. Wipe everything down using a small amount of dish soap and a damp paper towel. Lay down a fresh sheet of foam book paper and set the plate on top. Wipe it down with a small amount of dish soap and a damp paper towel. Then lightly buff the plate dry. If at any point your plate becomes gummy or soft after prolonged exposure to damp paper or water, you can set it out in the sun to harden again. Here is the original drawing, and here is the resulting print. As you can see, there's no need to reverse the drawing. It flips on the plate and then flips back again during printing.